number six in the evening. This next fight is a kickboxing in the middleweight division in the red corner. Weighing in at 74.2 kg, fighting out of Backstreet Dojo with a record of no wins at one loss. Please put your hands together for Alex James. And starting us off on our sixth fight of the evening is Alex James fighting out of Backstreet Dojo in Sunbury. Quite a local fella. Let's see if he's got the crowd behind him. Now Alex has had one fight previously, which is a loss. Let's see if he, he can avenge that and adjust his record tonight. Ladies and gentlemen, in the blue corner, weighing in at 70.5 kg, fighting out of Twickenham Martial Arts Academy. Please put your hands together for Ryan Dooley. And in the blue corner is Ryan Dooley fighting out of the Twickenham Martial Arts College. Again, a local fighter. Let's see if this will be a loud one. Now Dooley a little bit lighter coming in at 70.5 as opposed to James's 74.2. Once again, this will be a kickboxing bout. Full contact, all kicks above the waist. Okay, round one. Straight in from James. Liking that right leg, James. Is. And spinning. James taking the fight to Dooley, not backing off. Very, very kick heavy. Let's see if Dooley can turn this into a boxing bout. James looking for that head kick. Letting his hands drop though. Nice but, straight uh, from Dooley. Dooley staying in control, not letting himself get sucked in, stay nice and calm. Very fast paced out of the box here, so let's see if James can keep it up. Big right kick, but straight back from, uh, from Dooley. Dooley using that left cross very effectively to keep him back. I think we've only seen one punch from James so far, very, very kick heavy but it seems to be working for him. Big right hand there from James. And right leg kick, blocked off by Dooley though. Dooley very composed. Ooh, and a nice kick return from Dooley. Ooh, and a Good lovely straight cross coming back down the middle. Combination there from Dooley. Lots of kicks coming from James, but not that many of them landing. I think without the hands the to set him up, it might be difficult for James to land anything consistent. And a good left yeah, kick there from uh, Dooley at the end. So Alex James, very, very kick heavy and telegraphing them a lot. So he's not really like setting them up with any punches, is he? 
it's going to be difficult with only kicks. Is his fitness going to hold up for three rounds at that kind of pace? I think Dooley's going to look to take this into the later rounds and use those hands to really bring that fight back. Oh, I definitely suspect that James is going to slow down a little bit. And Dooley seems to be very kind of calm and composed, so we'll see if his combinations... His hands have been working well, actually. He's slipped into good uppercuts. Very in control. Very impressive composure from Fire making his debut. Yeah. Agreed. Yeah, he used that first round, round very wisely. He sort of saw what James was going to come at him. Fought very efficiently. He didn't gas himself out. Just popped off some good punches. Let's see if James keeps up his pace in the second round. And round two. And James straight back in with the right round kick. Left. Setting that body kick up with a few more straight punches this time, having a little bit more success. Dooley looking to fire him with some punches of his own. Big right hand, good head movement there from Dooley to avoid. James locking him up. Big right hand there from James. Didn't quite connect, but looking for it. Back and Dooley up in the corner. And a nice body kick finding its target from Dooley. James slowing down on the pace here a little bit. Dooley pushing forward, right hand landing there. Definitely finding a little bit more success now that James has slowed down. Oh, oh, good right hand. Shots. James taking it well, though. Very, oh, big left as well. James looking to come straight back in. He's not letting him get on top of him. Got another left hand there. Good left hands landing from Dooley. James still pushing, though. Time there. Uh, I think it's an, uh, an unfastened foot pad from James there. Should only be momentary. So James's pace has definitely tailed off a little bit, which is unsurprising. He's been sending a lot of kicks. Not landing too many of them. The more significant shots at the moment, certainly those big lefts being landed by Dooley. Dooley the southpaw, southpaw obviously. So that left hand cross using very effectively. And the action resumes. James straight in with the kicks again. Back him up. Hand combination there from Dooley. Nothing significant landing though. Yeah, James looking for that big right hand as well. But some nice movement from Dooley as well. Cutting a clean angle. Maybe a little bit low with Very that kick. Very nearly low there, yeah. But a little bit of success now, with his hands from James. Yeah, now James looking for that big right hand, but Dooley following up. Finishing strong. Good second round. Nice one. Now this, of course, if this continues at this pace, may be hard to score. Obviously, it depends on how well the judges are scoring those kicks from James. For me, this is Dooley at the moment. I don't think that... As much as he's been, James is throwing a lot of kicks, none of them have really, not, I say none of them. He hasn't been landing that many, so not significant ones. Whereas James had some good clean punches to the head, particularly those two left we saw sort of halfway through the round. So at the moment, I'd say Dooley is the more clean fighter. Definitely, Dooley being a little bit more patient, picking his shots off, finding success with it. Again, very impressive from a fighter making his debut. Great attitude from James though, he's really coming out of the box, very, very game, taking the fight to Dooley every single second. Both very, very tough fighters. Coming in for the third round, let's see if the pace keeps up. James straight in, big right leg. Good counter punches there from Dooley. James landing a couple of jabs to the face there as well. 
Good right hand there from James. And a little bit of blood coming out of the nose of Dooley. Yeah, James's punch is clearly landing. He's got to be careful with struggling to breathe with his mouth open. He does not want to get caught. Still, some Dooley good countering there, good combination. Uh, lost the mouth guard there from Dooley. And a quick check with the medic checking on that nose. I think it may be broken. So that was from the jabs of uh, James. Some nice jabs going straight down the line where you reached it. Especially with Dooley committing forwards. Yeah, James definitely using his hands more since that first round. That first round barely ever used his hands, but he's now making very effective use of them. Still very heavy on the kicks, but making much more use of the setup. Good counter punches there from Dooley. James taking it to him, backing him up, looking for that right hand. Dooley bringing it back. Both players engaging very heavily, looking for a big finish. Oh, and Good a left hand there hand. from Dooley. Those kicks being blocked by Dooley. Good, good body hit kick there as well. Straight back in from James. Good left hand, really backing James up there. So you see Dooley landing more, a higher percentage of his kicks because he's using those hands to set him up. James looking for that right hand. Straight jab there, uh, cross there, sorry, from uh, Dooley. Again, a nice body kick. Good little combination there from Dooley. Last 10 seconds of the final round. And time. Great fight. Very, very energetic. Very intense fight there. Huge vigor from both fighters. Another very, very tough fight to call, John. I am leaning towards the blue corner. I feel those hands of Dooley may have taken it for him. I completely agree. I think he landed many more significant shots. Both fighters landing really good shots, as you can tell from Dooley's nose. James got some really nice punches out on there. His kick's much less effective, and I think that would have tired him out. Um, really, really game from both. More significant shots. On behalf of the red corner. It seems those up kicks are playing a very, very important factor in the fight tonight.